Hello guys, welcome back. So in the last tutorial, we have talked about a pattern in which we have a zero, sorry, one, then zero, one, then one, zero, one, uh, that pattern. And this will move towards this, to this, this pattern, so which is one, then two, two, then three, three, three. So earlier we have created this video. So if you have not watched this video of this pattern, so I will recommend to watch the part one of this tutorial since this is part two. So this is what we have created, right? So to, to create this, what we need is we need two loops. One is outer loop, second is inner loop. So outer loop is responsible to print the number of rows and inner loop is responsible to print the number of columns. So we are printing this with the help of this logic. In this, what we need to print is, we just need to print the numbers. So instead of one, uh, this zero, zero, one, we have to print two, two. In the third row, we have to print three, 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 which is a uh, third row. In fourth row, we have to print four fours. And in fifth, we have to print five. Okay, so the number of, the number will be, the, the count will be the number of call rows, right? So in first row, we have to print one, one. In second row, we have to print two twos. In third row, we have to print three threes. So the pattern remains same, the value changes. That means the, the, uh, the loop remains the same, the logic changes. So in this logic, what we to do is, instead of using any uh, if conditions, it's, it's a straightforward. If we can focus, we are actually printing the row number. So if you see, this is first row, this is second row, this is third row. So in order to print the row number, what we can simply print is i with some space. So we'll say i plus a space. So what it will do is it will print the number of rows. Okay, and now if I run this, so this is the pattern you wanted, right? So this is the part two, and we got the pattern. So we have to use a for loop, which is which this will count the number of rows, this will count the number of columns, and then we have to print this uh, the number. And that's it from this video. So uh, do subscribe for the further videos. Thank you so much for watching.